Jerry at Fair Oaks. on the list to try out for the mounted drill team. Is that right, Jerry? Yes, sir. Right on the top, too. I suppose you're glad about that, aren't you, Jerry? <laughs> yes, sir, I sure am. Hope I make it, too. You know about the Hunter Craig trophy? Yes, sir. If we win it from Edson in this next contest, it becomes a property of Farrell. Mm, that's right. And we want that trophy. We very nearly won it last year, but the judges thought the jumps of the Fair Oaks team weren't quite as clean as those of the EMI. Well, they will be this year, sir. Especially if Jerry makes the team. <laughs> You're not modest, are you, Jerry? <laughs> All I know is if I make the team, I'll do the very best I can. And I think that will be sufficient. Oh, uh, just a minute. Look at that smokestack on the powerhouse there. Reaching majestically for the sky. An imposing sight, isn't it? Mm, yes, sir. A pretty color, too. That pale gray against a background of white clouds. Yeah, it sure is. It's strange that some of the cadets think it would look better if it had the letters FMA smeared on it in gaudy blue paint. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, come on. I'm glad that uh, you agree with me that the stack looks better plain gray. Oh, oh yes, sir. Much better. Uh, don't you think so, Jerry? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, Dad. Uh, uh, say, Major Davis. Yes? Uh, I completely forgot. Uh, when I went into your office, I wanted to ask you something, but when you told me Sergeant Alden wanted to see me, it, it slipped my mind. Uh, what was it? Oh, well, sir, I, I got a letter from Mr. Randall, and he said he was sending me a surprise. I was just wondering if some sort of a package came for me. No, there was no package for you in the mail today. Mm, that's funny. Mr. Randall said that the surprise should reach here about the same time as the letter. Oh, I guess it takes a little longer for packages, huh? Uh, yes, it sometimes does. Oh, there's Sergeant Alden now. He's waiting for you. Gee, he looks so stern. I wonder if he's angry about something. Hello, Major Davis. Hello, Sergeant. Oh, I, uh, I have something to take up with you, uh, Cadet Dugan. Yes, sir. I just got your message and came right out here, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, just come with me now. Yes, sir. May we come along? Oh, yes, do. Oh, you too, Cadet Phillips. Yes. I could have been here sooner, but I didn't know you wanted to see me today. Oh, and thanks for putting my name on the list. Well, I hope you make it, Dugan. You know, I'd, uh, I'd like to have you on the team. Well, what are we coming back here to the stalls well, for? Uh, I just wanted to ask you something about, uh, well, uh, you'll, you'll see. Now, this is your horse, isn't it, Sergeant Alden? Oh, yes, that's right. He's a pretty animal, Lee. Mm, yes, he is, sir, very pretty. That was Sergeant Alden's mount when he was in the Army. Was that so? I didn't know that. Oh, right here, Dugan, in this next stall. Uh, take a look at that horse and tell Splendor! me... Splendor! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, uh, why, why, it's Splendor. Huh? Hey, hey, look, Lee, Major what? Davis. Hey, it's Splendor from the circus. Oh, Splendor... Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, gee, and you're glad to see me, too, aren't you, fella? <laughs> hey, where did he come from, Sergeant Allen? I mean, well, well, how did he get here? Lee, isn't, isn't he a beauty? He sure is, Jerry. Gee, so oh, that's Splendor. I, uh, I figured you'd be glad to see him. Glad? Say, I, well, oh, boy, you know, I... Well, gee, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Hey, can I go in the stall and pet him? <laughs> well, sure, go right ahead. <laughs> oh, gee, Splendor, I'm so glad to see you. 
It appears the boy is very much fond of that horse. Yes, mm-hmm. it looks like a pretty nice friendship. Uh, Major Davis. Uh, yes, Lee. Uh, isn't that uh, isn't that the surprise Mr. Randall sent? <laughs> yes, that's right. Jerry's so excited it hasn't dawned on him yet. Well, he told me many times how much he thought of that horse. This is great, isn't it, Major Davis? I didn't expect to see a welcome like that from either the horse or Jerry. Yeah, and I'll talk to you some more in a minute, Splinter. But first, I've got to find out what this is all about. Say, tell me, Sergeant Alden. <laughs> well, I don't understand. Well, I, I think at best we let Major Davis do the explaining. Well, Jerry, that's the surprise Mr. Randall mentioned in his letter to you. Oh, oh sure. He, he said I, I might add a big surprise. Well, is it big enough? Well, I, I couldn't want anything more. <laughs> I'll explain it to you, Jerry. I'll tell you why Splendor's here at Fair Oaks. Yes, sir. Now, it seems that you wrote Mr. Randall that you were trying out for the polo team. Yes, sir, I did, but that was some time ago. Oh, yes, yes, I know. But as soon as Mr. Randall received your letter, he wrote me and asked if it would be permissible to send you your own mount if you made the team. Oh, I see. I answered his letter and gave him the ruling. That is, that no cadet is allowed to have his own horse at the academy. Now then... He wrote back and wanted to know if we would accept Splendor as a gift from him to Fair Oaks. I thought this over for a couple of days and then wrote him that we would accept his kind offer and appreciate the gift very much. But I added that you wouldn't be allowed to ride Splendor unless you took part in some of the equestrian activities. Yes, sir. You understand now, Splendor belongs to Fair Oaks Military Academy. Yes, sir. Uh, Sergeant Alden. Yes, sir? Uh, did I mention to you that Mr. Randall informed me that a Mr. Whitey said uh, Splendor had been trained as a jumper? Yes, sir. I uh, I believe you did say something about his being a jumper. Whitey? Gee, he told me he was going to make a good jumper out of Splendor. Uh, Splendor's mother was a wonderful jumper. Well, the horse certainly shows very good early training. <laughs> I broke him in. I was the first one that ever rode him. Yeah, well, that explains the friendship between you two, then. Yeah, and I nursed him through pneumonia. Gee, he was awful sick. Pretty nearly died. Hmm, well, you... Seems that you know more about horses than I thought you did. Well, <laughs> why he told me what to do. He's had charge of horses with circuses for years. Well, he knows plenty about them. I should think he would. Oh, by the way, I'm, uh, I'm calling the boys for the riding test tomorrow afternoon. And I'll give you your call right now. I want you to be here right after class. Yes, sir, I will. And can... Uh, uh, may I try out on Splendor? Uh, would that be giving uh, Dugan an advantage over the other boys? Mm, I don't think so, Major. But uh, I'll tell you what I had in mind to do, Dugan. Yes, sir. Now, inasmuch as Splendor is pure white... And beautiful, oh, too. That's right, Major. I thought we'd try to use him as a pivot horse on the drill team. He'd look very well in pivot position. Uh, you see, Dugan, all the other horses on the team are bays, and I thought that the contrast would be very good if he were to hold down the pivot spot. Excuse me, am I interrupting? No, 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 not at all, Morrison. Come in. Hello, Sergeant Alden. Oh, hello, Morrison. Dugan, Phillips, Ray. Hi. Uh, we were just talking about Jerry's horse, this one here. Jerry's horse? Well, not exactly. You see, Mr. Randall, Jerry's guardian, just made a present of Splendor to the Academy. Hmm. That's what I call a fine animal. Splendor, huh? Mm, that's right. Hello, Splendor. A real circus pony, Morrison. And a beauty. Uh, what were you saying about the pivot position, Sergeant Alden? Well, there isn't very much more to say, that's all. I, But I'd like to use him in that spot if I can. And I think he can do the work all right. A uh, pivot position on horseback is the same as in drill, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, then that means that Splendor will have to stand still while the other horses go around in different formations. That's right. You see, that not only takes a good horse, but it takes a good rider as well. Well, I think I could do it all right. Uh, may I try out for that position? Why, surely. I'll be glad to have you. I'd like to put in my bid for that pivot position, Sergeant Alden. Well, all right, Morrison. I'll give you your call now. It's tomorrow afternoon, just as fast as you can get here after class. Yes, sir. Then whoever gets the pivot position gets to ride Splendor. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll have three of you trying out. You and Morrison and, uh, oh, yes, Paul Warren. Gee, I hope I make it. May the best man win. I wouldn't mind riding Splendor myself. It's safe to say we'll all try hard for that position. Is that all now, Sergeant Alden? Mm, yes, I think so, as far as I'm concerned. But, oh, how about you, Major? Well, that's all, Jerry. I just wanted to come out here and be with you to see how you take your surprise. And it was worth the walk to see the expression on your face. Goodbye, Splendor. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I will. No, well, Major, there's, there's no doubt about All that right. little horse remembering him. Yes, as you said, Sergeant, there's a real friendship there. Uh, you ready, Lee? 
I want to get right back to the room and get a letter off to Mr. Randall before dinner. Okay, Jerry. Uh, excuse us, please. Surely, surely. Go right ahead. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Yes, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. I want to write to Mr. Randall right away and thank him. Mm-hmm, you should. In fact, he sent in his letter for you to write him right away and let him know how you like the surprise. Boy, wasn't that a surprise, though. Mm-hmm. Hey, you didn't know about it, did you? No, I was just as surprised as you were. Well, you know, I don't like the idea of somebody else riding Splendor, though. I think I should get to ride him. Well, don't worry about that. I think you'll get to ride him all right. But did you notice right away Red put in his bid for a pivot position? Mm -hmm. That's just because he'd like to ride Splendor. Yeah, he might be right about that. I don't know. But I wouldn't let it worry me any if I were you. Don't you think Mr. Randall would want me to ride Splendor? Yes, I guess he would. But he gave Splendor to the school with the understanding... Oh, I know what you're going to say, but just the same, I feel funny. stop worrying till the time comes? (laughs) Isn't he a swell little horse, though? Oh, as pretty a horse as I've ever seen, Jerry. You know, the thing that got me was the way he knew you. He knew you right away, the second he set eyes on you. You could just see it in his face. (laughs) Yeah, and did you see the way he kicked around in his stall and whinnied? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Gee, that sure brings back memories of the circus. I've been so busy since I've been here, I, I haven't had much time to think about it. But I sure miss the animals and the clowns and makeup and the band playing and the lions and the crowds and... <laughs> what are you trying to do? Tell me on the idea of running away and joining a circus? Well, I guess I am talking too much, <laughs> I just got to thinking. Do you figure on being with a circus when you grow up? Oh, I don't know. Mr. Randall didn't do so bad. He started with a circus when he was just a boy and wound up owning his own show. Yeah, and it's one of the biggest circuses, too, isn't it? I'll say it is. You know, whenever I think about a circus, I think about the wild animal trainers. That's a job I'd like. Ah, Who wouldn't? And don't think they don't make money, either. Jason is one of the highest-paid trainers in the world. He gets plenty. Mm, It's risky, though. Sure it is, but exciting. Jason always said that the excitement kept his nerve up. Mm -hmm. Slow down up there. Uh Uh-oh, here comes Red. And now what's he want? Slow down, Jerry. Now, listen, don't forget to salute. We're not in work clothes today, so there's no use starting trouble. No, oh, okay. That's a grand horse the circus sent us. What do you mean, us? He belongs to the school now. Did you used to ride him when you were with the circus? Uh-huh. I guess they let anybody ride choice animals in a circus. But here at Fair Oaks, it's different. Splendor's much too good for a plebe to ride. Mm, I wouldn't say that. But I said it. And what's more, I'm going to make it my business to ride Splendor. We'll see about that. Okay, we will see about that. Don't forget, Dugan, that horse is school property, and you have no more claim on him than I have or anyone else. Is that so? Yes, that's so. And what's more, you can bet your uniform you won't be riding him on the mounted drill team. <laughs> <laughs>